Long division. Dividing by two digit numbers. In our previous lesson on long division, we used the HMS bring down method to solve division problems involving one digit divisors. If you need to brush up on this, check out the link in the description before continuing. The good news is that when dividing by two digit numbers, we can still follow the same steps. How many, multiply, subtract, and bring down. The mental calculations just get a little trickier. Let's start with this problem. 4,672 divided by 32. When we were dividing by a one digit number, we broke up our dividend and worked through one digit at a time. We're still going to need to break up our dividend, but working through one digit at a time won't always work, especially at the beginning as we'll see here. How many times does 32 fit into four? It doesn't fit at all. So we group the first two digits of the dividend. How many times does 32 fit into 46? As I mentioned earlier, these calculations are a bit more difficult. For this reason, it's a good idea to have a piece of scrap paper close by to help with your workings. Okay, back to our problem. How many 32s in 46? I can see it's only going to fit once. We must write the one above the six. This is because 32 didn't fit into four at all. So there would actually be a zero above the four. You can write it in if it helps you. Next, we multiply. 32 multiplied by one is 32. And now we subtract. 46 subtract 32 is 14. Now we bring down the seven and we start the process again. How many 32s in 147? I'll use my scrap paper to help me here. I know that two lots of 32 is 64. That means four lots of 32 must be 128. 32 will fit into 147 four times. We write the four at the top. Now we multiply. 32 times four equals 128. And then we subtract. 147 subtract 128 is 19. Now we bring down the two. How many 32s fit into 192? To help with this calculation, let's round 32 to 30. This is because it's easier to count in groups of 30 than in groups of 32. It looks like it will fit six times. Now we multiply. 32 multiplied by six is 192. 192 subtract 192 is zero. 4,672 divided by 32 is 146. Let's look at two more problems. 1,036 divided by 74 and 318 divided by 53. Can you see the challenge we'll have solving these? In each, even if we group the first two digits of the dividend, our divisor is too large. 74 doesn't fit into 10 at all, and 53 doesn't fit into 31 at all. So what do we do? We group the first three digits. In the first problem, the first step would then become how many 74s fit into 103? It fits once. Now multiply. 74 multiplied by one is 74. Then subtract. 103 subtract 74 is 29. Now bring down the six and we have 296. How many 74s in 296? This is a bit tricky, but if I round 74 to 70, it helps. 74 fits into 296 four times. When we multiply and then subtract, we can see that there are no remainders. 1036 divided by 74 is 14. 
You might have noticed the more digits we group together, the more difficult the calculations become. In this problem, look at what happens if we group the first three digits. It would be, how many 53s in 318? This first step is the whole problem, so we're best off using our scrap paper, rounding and estimating. For example, we could round 53 to 50. There are six 50s in 300. I estimate 53 will fit into 318 six times. Now it's important to check this. I'll do so by multiplying 53 by 6. This confirms my estimation. 318 divided by 53 is 6. This same method will work for three digit divisors, but of course the calculations will get even more difficult. EasyTeaching.net 